Leroy's Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough, Part 23. What's going on? Happy Saturday, everybody. And we're back here with some more Alpha Sapphire. Now, we haven't really made any legitimate progress in this game for a while. I've kind of been doing a lot of extra side stuff. And I'm going to continue that in this video because we're right in front of the Trick House. And I do have the most recent Trick House maze unlocked. So I figured I'll just knock this out while I'm here. But before we get started, let's give the viewer a shout out of the day. And it's going to go to Math Pikachu. He is a longtime viewer, so I'm happy to give him the shout out. And if you want a shout out in the next video, all you got to do is leave a comment. Now the Trick Master is watching us once again. Where could he be hiding? Well, um, I happen to know he's right here behind this dresser. Yeah, so, let's get this show on the road. Now, this time around, um, you can go straight into the trick house. In the old games, you had to get the fourth gym badge before taking on the maze, but, um, not the case in Alpha Sapphire. You actually don't have any required gym badges to enter any trick house. Um, it's more just up to the field moves that you're gonna need. Now, uh, no, I don't want to buy your stupid escape rope. And now, in this maze, uh, you, you technically need Flash to get through. But every time that Pokemon tries to make Flash mandatory, you always find a way around it. You never actually need Flash to get through anywhere in Pokemon. So let's just go ahead and uh, start fighting some trainers. And in my opinion, this is one of the easiest Trick House mazes. Like, it, the room's not even that dark. It's not like I really need Flash. Like, I got through the Dark Cave when I was like five years old playing Pokemon Red. I think I can get through this Trick House pretty easily. Uh, now this chick's gonna start off with an Oddish on her team, so, uh, I'll give it the good old-fashioned Ice Fang. And it's gonna miss! No! There's only like a 5% chance that, uh, Ice Fang ever misses. So I gotta take an Acid, I'll... Oh, are you serious? I'm gonna miss twice in a row. Are, are you kidding me? That What is that, like a 1 in 400 chance that that happens? You guys are witnessing history right now. Luckily, I don't get poisoned by that acid or anything, so I'll still take out the Oddish. No big deal. Um, yeah, I guess I'd rather miss with Ice Fang when it's not really that important, rather than in a crucial situation. But for this Goldeen, I am going to switch out. Not because Mighty Anna can't take care of the job, but uh, Lombre can do a little bit better. And like I mentioned before, I need Lombre to get leveled up a little bit so that he's ready to go for the fourth gym, or she's ready to go. I keep forgetting that it's a female. I tend to just say he all the time, but I want her to be ready for the uh, fire gym leader, which is coming up next. And yeah, that's one of the nice things about Mega Drain. You don't have to heal up with potions a lot. Um, you can kind of just heal yourself with Mega Drain. So yeah, I mean, look, this place isn't even dark at all. I can totally see where I'm going. Like there's no reason I would actually have to use Flash to get through here. Um, but we do have a double battle on this side of the maze. Welcome, Challenger. As a servant of the Trick Master, I will repel all attacks like a shield. Wow, these guys are both servants of the Trick Master. Why does the Trick Master even need servants? Like, I could maybe see it in some of his earlier mazes that were a little more complicated. All he did this time around was turn off the lights. Like, what was your job as a servant? To make sure that the lights stay off? I don't know. But this is a double battle, and, uh... The cool thing about double battles is that Intimidate will lower both of the opponent's attack. And we have a Nummel and a Carvana, which are kind of the preferred Pokemon for Team Magma and Team Aqua, respectively. And this should be pretty easy for me because, uh, well, even Lombre alone can take out both of these guys, but uh, I'll, I'll bite the Nummel. Nummel's a Pokemon that you can catch pretty much right at this point in the game, right after you get through Mauville City. Um, I used one of my Ruby and Sapphire walkthrough, if you guys remember. Got quite a bit better in this game because of his Mega Evolution. And he got some really powerful moves uh, through level up early on. And he's going to use Amnesia. So yeah, that's nice that Lombre got up a level there uh, to 21. And this will, this is just easy peasy right here. Bubble's actually four times effective, but I'm not even going to have to use it because Bite will finish him off. So... Uh, yeah, there we go. We took down the Trick Master's servants. Wow. I can't believe this guy has servants. How did he convince these ace trainers? Like, look, they're calling him Master. Like, these guys are somehow possessed by the Trick Master. Alright. So, let's keep going along here. You can actually grab an item right here. It is the Lumios Gallet. You might be wondering, what the heck is that? Um, 
It's similar to the lava cookie that we found earlier in the trick house. It's an item that can heal your status conditions. And with that said, let's battle this last trainer. It's dark, so dark, even though we're inside. It's really not that dark. I can see everything that's in this building. Um, we have a school kid, school kid Ted. This is actually the last trainer in here. This one's pretty short, there's only three guys, and he only has a Ralts. And I've mentioned before that Ralts gaining the fairy type kind of put dark types at a disadvantage, but an unevolved Ralts still has such low defense that it doesn't really pose any kind of threat to Mighty Enna. So yeah, that it's that easy. We're gonna take down all the trainers in the trick house. Now all we have to do is get through this incredibly dark room that apparently you need flash to get through. Well, basically you just want to work your way up to the top here and there's a secret set of stairs. And this is pretty cool. You can go underground all the way to the uh, front part here and there's a scroll. So now you can get through the end of the maze. And really quickly you can grab another, uh, another item. I don't know why I had such a hard time finding that. Another Lumio Skelet, so yeah, you can heal your status conditions. Uh, yeah, let's let's go back. I think this is pretty cool, this little underground tunnel. That actually could have taken a lot of work to dig that. Maybe that's what the servants did. Maybe they had to get shovels and just dig and make that basement. All right, Trick Master is cool. That's the password. Still, we're gonna get through. And what's going on, man? Oh, you made it this far. Wow, you're sharp. It took me all night to board up the windows to make the room dark. It really took you all night to board up the windows. How hard could that possibly be to board up the windows? It took him all night to do. All right, so he's going to give you TM92 Trick Room. Trick Room is a move that will allow slower Pokemon to outspeed faster Pokemon for five turns. So it has some good competitive use. It's not really a move you're going to use in-game, but, you know, maybe you could... Um, work it into your move set. I don't know. I've never really used it in game. And how come every time I leave this door right here, I'm going into a different area? Like, what the heck? That makes no sense. But whatever, that's it for the, uh, the trick house. I mean, we don't really get great prizes ever for beating the trick house. But if you go back in, he already made another maze. How does he make these mazes so fast? <laughs> I don't understand. But the next maze, you actually need the HM for strength to get through. We don't have that HM yet. And even if we did, uh, we're not able to use it outside of battle. So, um, we're just going to have to go back to Mauville City and actually make some progression with the storyline. I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back, and we're actually just north of Mauville City on Route 111. Now, this route was originally blocked off by um, these rocks up here. We needed to beat Watson to be able to use Rock Smash. Um, now we've done that so we can freely move on. There is just one little thing that um, there is to take care of on this route, which I haven't visited yet. And it is the Winstraight House. The Winstraight House is a pretty fun uh, little challenge. Make sure you're fully healed up before talking to this guy because his entire family is going to challenge you to a series of Pokemon battles. So you're going to have four battles back to back to back to back. So make sure you're ready to go when you accept this challenge. And yeah, this is actually pretty tough. This is great for money and great for experience. We're going to start off with Winstraight Victor, and he's got a Talo. So yeah, this is the dad in the family. Apparently, he's the weakest of the entire family as far as Pokemon training goes, which is pretty embarrassing. I mean, you got to be a man of the house, dude. You can't just let all the women in the house step all over you. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy for Plusle. Um, now, keep in mind, you're going to have to keep the same Pokemon up front for every battle. So I figured Plusle would be a good option because I have the move Volt Switch. So in case I need to get out of there, um, I can dish some damage out and switch to another Pokemon. But yeah, the, the first guy, the dad, Victor, he's super easy. He just has a Talo and a Zigzagoon. A couple of, like, first route Pokemon, basically. So you're not going to have a problem with them. Yeah, there we go. You're stronger than I thought. And the win straights are pretty loaded, man. They're all going to give you a lot of money. So this is a... Definitely nice if there's some expensive items you've been looking to buy. And he's gonna holler to the family, I found a pretty strong trainer! Oh, so now his wife is gonna come out. Yeah, she's even stronger than Victor. Must be quite tough to beat my husband. But yeah, the wife's even stronger. I mean, we know who's wearing the pants in this relationship. Oh, and it's Winstraight Victoria! So a guy named Victor married a girl named Victoria. Of course, these people all have the same name. Now she's just gonna have a Roselia on her team. 
which isn't too bad, but it's not the best matchup for Plusle. Um, this can turn into a stalemate. So, like I mentioned, I have this nice option of, uh, you know, just using Volt Switch. It's always nice to dish out a little bit of damage before you switch to another Pokemon, so... We'll go ahead and do that. It's not going to do a lot of damage. I didn't really expect it to. Um, and rather than Kimbuskin, I think I'll go over to Mightyena. Kimbuskin's a little bit higher level than the rest of the gang here, and Hercules is just a sliver away from, from level 22. But I gotta take a Mega Drain, so that's probably gonna restore all of its health back up. Um, but that's okay, we'll go ahead and hit with an Ice Fang. Which is basically my secondary option for taking on Grass Types, and it seems to work pretty well, because... Oh, and I got a critical hit, nice. But yeah, Grass Types typically have low defense, so uh... Ice Fang always does the job, and wow, I'm up to level 22, 600 experience points, that was a lot for a uh, split, that's probably going to get Plusle up to level 22 also, and it is, so yeah, that's awesome, and I'm going to learn the move Copycat, no, I'm not going to teach him Copycat, um, Copycat just, it copies the move that the other person did, it's, it's stupid, it's not good, I'm not going to use it, I'd rather stick to my guns with the moves I already know, and once again, we get a lot of money, I think we actually got more money from from the wife than the husband. Oh yeah, now we really know who's running the show around here. And look at this, we got another trainer. This one's much younger. This is actually the daughter. And she's more powerful than both of her parents, which is pretty impressive. Um, Vivi, all right, so we have Victor, Victoria, and Vivi. Everyone's name starts with a V, what are the odds? She does have three Pokemon on her team and the Goldeen's gonna be super easy for plus it'll take out. Uh, we'll just give it an Electro Ball. Which is pretty much the only move I'm gonna need to use for a really long time for Plusle. Pretty much until I get Thunderbolts, uh, probably. But yeah, that's gonna do it for that Goldeen. And, ooh, Nummel, though, that's not a Pokemon I wanna take on. Nummel is a Fire and Ground type, and Ground type is the one thing you don't wanna mess with when you're an Electric type. But you know what the one thing Nummel doesn't wanna mess with? It's Green Marine, yeah. It's four times weak to water. We did see a Nummel earlier in the Trick House, and. Yeah, Nummel's a Pokemon you can catch on the route just north of here, the route that we're about to head to. And it's a great fire type, and even though it has the ground type, making it four times weak to water, I mean, you wouldn't be fighting water types with fire anyway, so I don't really think it's a big deal that it's extra weak to water. I think is a fantastic option if you need a fire type. Um, but I'm gonna switch out again, we're just gonna rally around the whole crew here for this battle. And we're gonna go to Popeye. Yeah, Papa, I didn't forget about you. You're gonna be the one to take on this Shroomish. Um, and it's only a level 16, so... We'll give it the Flame Charge. And that is gonna do it for, uh... Win Straight Vivi! Oh, and the Effect Spore is gonna poison me. You gotta be kidding me. And it's not a, really a big deal, though. He will live. He can toughen it out with the poison. Alright. Did I really lose? Oh, and you're only gonna give me $256. What is that all about? Your parents gave me all kinds of money. Why do you not have any money? Oh, and she's gonna go and cry too. She's gonna go cry to her grandma. Oh, why don't you grow up? All right, so here's the last trainer. How dare you make my precious granddaughter cry? Oh, and she's gonna teach me a lesson. She wants me to feel the sting of defeat. I think in the original game, she said something like, I'm gonna smack you. But I guess that was too violent. And, oh, and her name is Vicky. So we have Victor, Victoria, Vivi, and Vicky. Isn't that just wonderful? And she only has one Pokemon. Um, she is the toughest trainer in the house, but she only has one Pokemon. It's a Metatite, which we've seen before. It's all the way up at level 22. Now, this thing is pretty tough. It's got some ferocious attack stat. So, uh, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to try something a little different. I hardly ever use this move Charm, but it lowers the opponent's attack by two stages, which effectively gets rid of its ability, but uh, it's going to use Meditate to raise its attack up. Alright, so I lowered your attack two levels, you're going to raise it one level, I guess that worked out for me, but let's just go ahead and do this. Let's Volt Switch, because I'm worried this guy could just slaughter Plusle with a high jump kick or something, so... Let me go to someone that can probably take a Fighting type hit. Definitely not Mightyena, but let's try Popeye. Because he can probably at least outspeed the thing. And it's going to use Meditate again, so I guess his attack stat is back to normal, so... Nothing's really happened here, but I'm going to take some damage from the poison. And uh, let's go with the Aerial Ace. And now uh, Meditate actually is faster than me. 
Yeah, Meditite, even though I'm a level ahead of him, Meditite's a little bit faster than Combuskin. But that's okay, the Aerial Ace will finish him off. And that is it for the Went Straight family! Or is it? Are there only four? Yeah, we're gonna learn about that in a second here. And the Grandma's gonna give us a bunch of money! Whoa! Grandmas are always hooking it up fat with the money. So, uh, she's gonna invite us in to her house, which is cool. You can grab an item in here, but, uh... Yeah, even though you defeated the four Winstraight trainers, uh, they're gonna tell you that their grandson is even way stronger. Like, he would completely destroy us if we ever fought him. He's probably challenging the Pokemon League right now, they're saying. So yeah, at some point in our uh, journey, we'll come across the fifth Winstraight, who's even stronger than this entire lot right here. Uh, yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the pathetic dad who's weaker than all three women in the house. Yeah, this guy sucks. It's probably a stay-at-home dad. Um, so yeah, the she's stronger than her mom, who's stronger than the dad, and the grandma's the strongest of all. But go ahead and talk to the mom. She'll give you an item called the Macho Brace. Macho Brace. Yeah, so uh, this item is pretty interesting. It will slow down your Pokemon holding it temporarily, but overall their stats will increase more rapidly. So you have to sacrifice some speed, but at the end of the day, your Pokemon are going to be stronger when they get up the next level than they would have been. And with that said, all we have to do is go forward um, past the rock smashing area there. But I think we're going to save that for the next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with some more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Peace out.